Good morning everyone, this is a 2201 DS Winnebago here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And it's a beautiful, like, super still, calm morning here. And that's, that's just exactly what I like about camping. I love waking up in the morning when I go camping. And I go outside and you just experience earth, nature, for a minute. And I'm not, uh... I'm not like, you know, a, a big hippie tree hucker or anything like that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's just not who I am. But there is something really nice about getting back to basics and unplugging every now and then. And I love in the morning coming outside when there's still that crisp humidity in the air. Just that, that little tingling coolness about things. And that's exactly how I picture this camper in the morning because I see this this being an ideal, like I think people who look at this one could do a lot of fall camping. And don't get me wrong, it's a great spring, summer, fall camper, but I see this as being ideal for that fall camping crowd, which is my personal favorite season because the parks aren't overrun. There's still friendly neighbors there, uh, but you're the, you can, you can breathe and you can move and you have elbow room and you know, you can, uh, generally speaking, there's not always people on every campsite around you. And I, I, I think that's kind of how I picture this one. The 2201 DS is a big, huge rear bathroom couples coach comes in at 5,180 pounds. And uh, what I like too is that we've got this big awning with that little outside kitchen, outside bar and grill, whatever name you choose to apply to it. Every manufacturer has a different one it seems. But it's you're gonna spend time outside with this one. Not a morning or evening like it is right now. You're gonna love it. It's just, it's the best camping there is. Um, so they've done some really smart things here on the Winnebago Mini. Uh, they've put a monstrously large front pass-through compartment in here to give you an idea, guys. That big box right there has the twin propane bottles in it, and it looks small in here. That's how big this compartment is. I wanted to leave that in there to give you a sense of scope and scale. Also, this is the kind of detail work you're going to see. When you look around within this class, if I held the camera like this, it would look like everything else. But when you look around, you notice that they fully finish everything. They don't leave anything raw or exposed. And it's that extra attention to detail in an area that, frankly, the average buyer is not even going to look. That's what I see out of Winnebago. Bigger, wider baggage compartment so you can actually put like those big zero gravity chairs in there. Now, we put a beautiful platinum skin on this and Winnebago is one of the few brands left on planet Earth that allows you to change up the skin of their RV. So, this one that we're looking at could be, probably is not, the one that we have in stock actively. Uh, they have platinum, white, blue, red, orange, champagne, I, more, uh, skins than I have fingers on this hand, thankfully. That means I was grown with the proper number of fingers. That doesn't matter. Moving on. Um, my point here is that if you like everything in this video except a couple cosmetics, don't let that slow you down here. I've made this really easy for you. I leave a link down here in the video description that says check for price and availability, and that will show you the Winnebago's that we have how they're equipped, and what we're asking with that set of equipment. And our price doesn't change if you do or don't have a trade. We're a very fair place to work with, very transparent. Name another dealer that went out of their way to do something like I'm doing here in this video. And you can count those guys on one hand, even without bonus fingers, <laughs> which is creepy. So let's talk chassis for a minute. You want a good house, you start with a good foundation. And I think that the NXG uh, chassis, the uh, aircraft style chassis Z frame that we have on this here, is one of the reasons that Winnebago has proven itself. Uh, they were the dark horse to it. Like we had, we added a couple brands last year, and these guys took off and they stayed out of the shop. They stay in your driveway. They don't come back for service, and that is my number one favorite thing about them. I can talk about features, whiz bangs, and widgets all day, but at the end of the day, does it perform? Does it stay in your driveway and stay out of mine? And the answer here is an unequivocal. Abso freaking lootly. That's what these guys do. Thing is, they're really not built much unlike thing, other things in the industry. Their, their construction in terms of method is frankly pretty industry standard, but it's not the playbook. It is the execution. They have 
excellent craftsmen working for them down there and they get the job done. Now they have done some, some smart decisions here. They're using really big bedroom windows up front to give you tons of light and all of their windows are that classic jealousy style window that tilts open so you can get airflow on them anytime even when it's raining out and that's something that you can't do with most brands. Um, now if you look real close at their wheels, let me zoom in here with my shaky camera hands, you'll notice these little accents in on the wheels. Well, Winnebago accents their wheels to match the skin. Um, so if we put a red skin on this, those would be red. On the Platinum, they use a blue to complement the blue graphic up front. That's the only kind of um, disconnect that they have, but it still looks good together. You know, blue and Platinum always looks great together. Um, you notice on the sidewalls they have windows and those do open for uh, in, uh, ventilation as well. Black tank flush, outside utility shower, all that critical stuff, all that's here. Now look at this. They are using best in class skins here. This is not just a high gloss skin guys, this is a T60 gel coat. This is a truly gel coated ultralight trailer and it's the only skin they use. You have to go up into generally the 60 to 80 to $100,000 fifth wheel bracket to even begin to hope to find uh, another skin uh, that matches this one in terms of uh, reflectivity, in terms of longevity, easiness to clean because it's got such a smooth clean surface on it. Now you see the ladder on the back, that's an option we had there. Again, not everything we carry may have that. Sometimes we'll, see, sometimes uh, Winnebago will call us say, hey listen, we had a dealer back out on an order. You guys want this thing? And we're like, heck yeah, everything you build's great. But this does bring you up to a full walk-on roof. So, um, you know, it's fully, fully serviceable. They've done a great job there. Uh, this is, like I said, a full outside kitchen model. And they went with a low pro outside kitchen, low profile, and that, that leaves you some bonus storage inside and wait till you see that. If, if you don't care about the outside of this video, I understand that, not everybody does. I think you're missing out, but skip ahead because the inside doesn't uh, disappoint either. So a few things, I love that they're using, and you're gonna see this inside too, this creamy bone off-white um, wood tones here and it's gonna make the inside feel so big now this is a full eight foot wide body Winnebago's in the micro mini does make narrow body this is a full-size platform but they've given you uh, your little outside cook stand here dad's medicine cabinet and uh, if you look areas uh, here you can you can see plywood not OSB they're, they're using the superior materials where it needs to be done, where it counts. Um, outside TV hookups, under the middle of your big power awning with LED lighting, by the way. Um, and I like that their speakers are actually, they kind of angled down so it's easy to see. And the, the bigger handle, in this class, frankly, a lot of times you don't even get a triple entry step. So that's, like, you don't even think about that. But I do this all day, every day, and at this point, I'm, I'm closing in on 2,500 of these RV videos. I've seen some stuff, man, and that's it, it, the devil's in the details, and that's one of them right there. Let's step inside for you. Oops, I, I knew I'd do that. I forgot to turn my battery box back on. I had to go swap camera batteries real quick. Didn't turn that on. You probably wouldn't appreciate it. I love that. See, this is a neat thing about the, uh, let me get where this, the, the sky's not backlighting. When the lights are at the base of the awning, you can use them even when the awning's rolled in. I should talk about that more. I don't talk about that enough. Here's a really cool thing on this floor plan, is that it is carpetless. It is 100% carpetless. They use an above floor slide out. That's a, it's a self-adjusting slide, by the way. Um, so if, for some reason the slide starts to scoot a little funny. If you just keep holding the button, when the slide goes out, it goes through an adjustment cycle on its own. So at worst, if you have to run the slide in and out uh, three times, <laughs> yeah, three times, three times, it will adjust itself back to square. So it's a self-adjusting, like uh, you don't have to maintain it type slide out. It just does its thing. Now there are different interior decors. This is one of my favorites because it, again, it does have, it's got a beautiful light dark contrast. Um, and here's the other thing I like about Winnebago. Again, attention to details. They are one of the few where your bedding still matches your decor. They change out the bedding and the window shades to match your interior decor and almost, I, I don't know of another brand that does that anymore. There might be one, but I mean, we carry like 32 different manufacturers in total, depending on how you want to break it down. Um, I don't know of anybody else that does this. Everybody else uses the same brown 
uh, uh, bedspread up here with neutral brown uh, window shades, but and then they have a different decor over here. Because this is one room, and frankly, even if it wasn't, they would still do it, they make everything match. And it, again, it's that seamlessness that I like about this. So we've got a full U dinette, and this can fold down into about a seven foot sleeper. Cool thing with the U dinette is you're gonna gain bonus storage under all the seating. And I love all the little radius work that they do here. Their fit and finish is just absolutely fantastic. You know, they're using nicer hardwoods up here in your slide fascia. Um, there's nothing wrong with MDF foam. It's very lightweight, but this is a longer lasting superior product. It's gonna fight warping and whatnot, and it's gonna just continue to look good, you know? All the windows again open for ventilation. You can get great airflow in here. There is storage below the bed if you lift that up. Um, we do have central heat as well, which not all ultralights have. Um, and uh, this, some people like this, some people don't, but the fact is it's extremely, extremely functional. Uh, they've gone with a, a single closet, and then they left this side open to give you a larger, like, CPAP stand and whatnot, because they know how important that is. Now, there is a bedside stand over here with power outlets, so you have that. And if you're worried about closet space, you can stop worrying. Wait till we get to the bathroom. All the closet space you ever wanted in a travel trailer is back there. Frankly, the bathroom has more storage in it than a lot of fifth wheels have in their entirety. It's incredible. Um, spinning around, well, before we get quite spun around, I want to point out a couple things. Again, devil's in the details. They're using really big drawers. They're all plywood constructed drawers as well. They're not particle board with a sticker wrap as is really common in this industry. Don't get me wrong. There's not actually anything wrong with drawers like that. These, however, in theory, should last you longer. You know, and, and that's the thing is, every little equipment, piece, material, swap they've put in this RV, it's all those things are stacking the deck to make this a longer lasting trailer. For instance, stainless steel sinks. Again, this is a fifth wheel feature you don't tend to get in a travel trailer. Um, rarely will a travel trailer allow you to upgrade to solid surface countertops with stainless steel sinks below, uh, but there's almost nobody that just gives you a stainless steel sink right off the get-go. Um, of course, we have central air in here to keep you comfortable, and they are doing something very few other brands do, very few others. Um, not, they're not the only ones, but they give you louvered and vented uh, uh, air ducts up here. What that means is that you can close them, you can turn them, most brands, you just get this plastic thing kind of clipped to the ceiling, and wherever it happens to blow air, it blows air. If you're lucky, you can spin it, but these guys, like, you know, I'm I'm a hot box. I like air blowing on me. My wife is not. She can't stand it. So she might want to turn hers or close it, and I can have one blowing right on me, and we both sleep good at night. That's the nice part about this. Um, the... Uh, Stove top here, this is uh, the, the, the stove cover is something that we've added to this to help maximize your prep space. Although I do like what the power outlets around here, you've actually got nice countertop space you can utilize. And a small camper, it's perfectly sufficient. They've done a fine job of that. Um, to uh, just spin around the other way to give you a, a look at her this direction. The uh, entertainment center, um, you know, obviously is sufficiently sized and that they've, they've hit all the right notes. And I think that it's this product who this is really spoken to the most is this the the group that's retiring right now the uh, you folks that are, you've worked your whole lives you're finally ready to kick back and do some relaxing you don't want a 35 50 foot fifth wheel whatever it is you know you want something smaller and more manageable but you also don't want cheap and you've been around the world long enough to know that a lot of times small means cheap and that's where Winnebago has been so strong is they're really aggressive price points. You see the name Winnebago and you're like, oh crap, I can't afford that. Look, look at it. You're gonna be shocked. Um, they are among our most aggressively priced lightweights actually. And uh, rarely will any other brand snipe them in overall price tag. They're very, very strong. And they're built right. I'm not joking. We do not have these things come back for service work. Um, I, I can think of one and uh, it wasn't there. It turns out there wasn't even anything wrong with the RV. It, it was a uh, an issue where the it was a newer customer who didn't exactly know how something functioned. So we took some time to educate them and re-educate them on that to make it uh, more comfortable. Now, just like in the kitchen, 
We've got stainless in the bathroom, and look at the huge counter. Now, this is not a small sink. Adults, you can wash your hands in here. It's just a huge countertop that makes it look like a small sink. Great storage below for like your bonus toilet papers. And I love the fact that their vanity light switch is just right down here. That's smart. And with a big double medicine cabinet, so you can actually keep your countertop empty, open, and clean. You know, you don't have to, to bulk stuff up. Now, you probably noticed the bigger uh, fifth wheel radius shower as opposed to a uh, you know travel trailer tub with both a skylight and a power vent fan up here, by the way. Uh, porcelain, nicer, foot flush stool. Again, the little slops from a, a, a plastic toilet that's okay to this one that's better. And that's the, uh, the Winnebago Advantage. But this, this is the part that I open it up every time I go, oh my gosh. I've seen a lot of rear bathroom uh, outside kitchen couples campers with these closets. I've never seen one this big. Most manufacturers, they, they, the closet starts about here. And don't get me wrong, this something this size up here is big storage space, but this is triple that size. They made this thing huge. They added an offset like, a, you know, almost like a hat rack or towel rack or something up there, a little towel shelf. They have given you so much storage space in here. It's just absolutely incredible. And this, you know, I say all the time, if you watch my videos, everyone does something better than some, someone else. And fit and finish, um, you know, longevity, lack of service needs, that's what I think Winnebago does best. And this, this bathroom closet back here, they've definitely done that the best. So um, give us a call, learn a little bit more, 800-256-5196. We're Halet RV, we're in Coldwater, Michigan, and it doesn't matter where you live because these things are on wheels and we can put it in your driveway, we can put it on your campsite, we have vehicles for package deals, we do hitching, pieces, parts, accessories, financing. Guys, we only do everything. And I mean that quite literally. Uh, if, if there's something you need to put a purchase together, uh, let us know what your terms and conditions are, and you're gonna find that we're a really flexible, easy place to work with. Um, and bottom line is this is supposed to just be about fun, and we know that because we go camping. More than half of our salesmen are campers. Uh, I go out camping. Mr. Halet, our owner, he's a big time camper. I mean, we do it, guys. We get it, we know it, and we're excited to meet you. And whether it's your first one or gonna be your last one, or your first one is gonna be your last one, we're here to take care of you. And we've got a full shop for service after the sale. We're not a buy it and fly it kind of store. And I think if you gave us a call to meet us, I think you'd see that. And I think you'll see why we're the largest independent store in one of the very top states for RV sales. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.